Hey, be careful not to point that thing at me. Everybody has lost their minds. Come on, let's go. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right. Welcome aboard, oh, Barrett. Pardon me. <laughs> Was that your stomach or mine? It's probably yours. All that weird food you're eating all the time. So I thought I would have you as part of the, the crew of the ship that left Lynn and Hella back on Aquila City, at Aquila City, whatever that planet is. And Andrea, Andresia, will be accompanying me off ship. So with your vast amount sure. of experience. I've got a minute. With your vast amount of experience, ship's operation should go well. All right, we have a mission that I need to tend to. All right, what is it, Velo? All right, strap in, everybody. Action stations. Grab jump in two, one, jump. How daring Mayday, Mayday, this is Free Star Ranger Nia Kalu. If anyone is hearing this, system's failing. Need help. Mayday, 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 this is Free Star Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. Who is this calling out for help? Yeah, that's it. You're clear to land at Hopetown. All right, well, I guess that Mayday was a, a false alarm. Bring it to position. Mm, I and see you. We you, are now in stable orbit. You like stealing my thunder. That's all right, though. All right, bring us into uh, docking range of the ship. Reduce engine speed, prepare to dock. Assuming there's an atmosphere, but I need to start wearing my uh, space suit. That's not good. Hello, Free Star Rangers here. This isn't good. This is a nice bridge, though. Could use a ship like this. Oh no, you're you're one of the free stars. Please tell me you're here to help, not to try and steal my ship. Well, the thought did cross my mind. Um. Well, I'm Ranger Deputy Hill. I just signed up. Welcome aboard, Deputy. Sorry if I can't give you the grand tour just yet. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but 
they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Well, we need to get you to a doctor. I'll be fine once the pain medication kicks in. The priority right, right now is the ship. Can't do my job without it. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. All right, I'm on it. Thanks. I owe you one. Not the most exciting work I can think of. Uh, let's see, how do we go about repairing this? It's in the captain's locker. I hope you don't mind. I might as well take this other stuff too. I'm not sure what the 7.5 millimeter is used for, but might as well take it. Thanks. That should get me home. That's it? Well, I'm happy to help a fellow ranger. Good. There aren't many of us out there. 
so it makes all our lives easier when we can help each other out. Now let's talk about those outlaw ships. Yes. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. All right, just tell me where they were headed and I'll handle it. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting. Thank you. Can I take this ship? I wonder what would happen if I did. Oh, I'm not authorized. Okay. All right, well, hopefully you can drag yourself into the pilot seat and get out of here. ship should be uh, quite substantial. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? What do you think, Barry? Sorry. I was lost in the memory for a moment there. How can I help? Do you think we need more crew? Is this too much work for you? Let me know. All right, Andresia, let's get ready. Releasing ship from dock. Done. We are now free to move among the stars. station. Alright, we're gonna head to Miatha. Somebody tell me why there's a set course button here that I'm pressing and it doesn't work. All right, here we go. Welcome to the Free Star Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. Scan complete. You're clear to land. Oh, 
All right. Let's try this again. We landed in Hometown. Time to park this buggy. Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. I wonder how the company feels about that. All right, this way. I don't want to hear any complaints. Keep an eye on your value. So this looks like one of our headquarters here. Nobody's here. Ron hopes the best excuse thing that happened me. to us. A little desperate. A fair amount of business runs through Hope Town, and from what I understand, most of it is legal. Who is this? Yes. All right, Adela. Deep breath. God. Well, you wanted to talk to me, so talk. Stop wasting my time. Right. Right. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Oh, Gross. really? Wow. Okay. So, what's wrong? Where to start? Gosh. So, I Why fly a rust bucket the called end. the Markab for a small shipping line. Just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? <laughs> Listen, you bother somebody else, I'm on a mission. Okay. Hello. I don't have time for this. We'd be dust, except for the factory. You made it. Oh, Those outlaws what? didn't give you, you too much trouble, I trust? Well, I thought you were pretty banged up, all right. Well, they were no trouble at all. Not with my new space needle. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. No, it didn't. You've they got good that timing. Soft, though. A courier just came in from Aquila. The marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Uh, let's meet with Ron Hope. Wait a minute. Nobody from Hope Tech reported the Starship theft. No, and I can't get answers as to why not. I'm sure Mr. Hope has his reasons. All right, let's talk to him. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. I have never liked Hope Tech ships, though I suppose that is hardly the point of them. Council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile them up. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he off built. worlders. Pretty Nothing much everyone ever in this town draws him for their livelihood. Can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. You're saying a lot more than that. All the way up. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> a 
above everyone. decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, yeah, Merchant. That's a point great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well, now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, Dan, good to see you. I think we're done here, Burchard. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. We certainly could use more of you. All right, well, let me come over here so I can talk to you, sir. Let's get out, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. Well, I found your stolen ship on Montero Luna. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found, and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors? <laughs> I am aware of your position. Then, I trust that you know what I expect of you. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Well, the ship was delivered to a group of men who were trying to acquire a farm. Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me. But oh. does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Why didn't anyone report the theft? Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems who would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. <laughs> All right. The thief had inside help know anything about that. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. All right. Did anyone see the thief? We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. 
Was there anything unique about the stolen ship? No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now, you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. <laughs> what is this, a commercial? I think we're done here. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. If more people know about the theft, your chances of learning something useful will improve. Someone might have seen the thief and could identify them. I considered that, but in the end, I deemed it too great a risk. I've chosen to place my faith in the Free Star Rangers instead. All right, you can count on my discretion, Mr. Hope. I'm glad we understand one another. Oh, we do. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope. There's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon. Which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Uh, yeah. I thought I was going to talk to Cozad, but all right. Just keep it holstered. We'll get along fine. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. I was hoping to learn more. Yeah, me too. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. And what can you tell me about Ranger Price? He's what I'd call a pragmatist. He sees things for what they are. He's also well-connected, which means a lot on Neon. You hmm. should listen to what he tells you. It'll keep you out of trouble. All right, Jalen Price got it. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Hmm. Thanks again for helping me yeah, out up there. You too. Thanks for setting up the meeting. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. Oh, good. We got some credits. Okay, now I have no idea how to get out of here. handles most problems here. I only get involved when it's something big. Workers like to play hard here. They deserve it. Isn't there this place this best defense? Hello. I've seen videos about these uh, guns here. Bench. 
Village. You here for commerce or another board tourist? Some rules. If there's one place there's some law and order in this town, it's here. Don't even think about stealing anything. Mm. No haggling. The price is the price. And might be some other rules. Don't be an ass. You must get high marks for customer service. I didn't start this way. Got myself robbed a few times. Swindled a couple. So now I look out for number one. And it's not like there's anywhere else on this rock to buy weapons. You may be thinking this place is a dump, but the hardware isn't. Lots of customers pass through. We got something for everyone. Let's see what you've got. Hopefully something catches your eye. Just looking for ammo. Can never get enough of it. Thank you. Yes, what? We'll be law-abiding for now. Ron Hope's a damn hero in my book. As long as you keep the peace, you're good in my book. everyone. This is your captain. Prepare for liftoff. All right, now here we go, people. I really don't understand these interfaces. This is just insane. Here we go. Stand by for grab jump. Three, two, one, jump. that region has some influence here in the other. I wonder how Mr. Bayou is about that. Ah, so this is the Rangers outpost here at Neon. 
Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? <laughs> and you must be Ranger Price. The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. Hopefully I can count on your help. You can count on my help if you play by the rules. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. You should take his words to heart. So you just turn a blind eye? I pick my battles, and I pick them carefully. Our first duty is to protect the people of the Free Star Collective. Sometimes you have to choose which people to protect, because not everyone is innocent. The law and justice aren't flexible concepts, they're absolutes. Ah, rookies. With an attitude like that, at least I know we will not be bored. <laughs> Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. All right, then. Any advice for a Freestar Ranger deputy working in Neon? Stay out of people's business until you can. Be willing to let the small stuff slide. Don't break up a fight unless it's getting out of hand. Most of all, don't assume that badge will protect you. All right, then. Are you sure this informant of yours is trustworthy? This is Neon. There are no guarantees, and who I find trustworthy changes on a daily basis. Talk to him or don't. It's your call. Take me to him. Come on. That was pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learn quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they'd be gunned down without a... that upon you. Because the fact that you think justice is absolute concerns me, Deputy. It's never that simple. Justice can mean different things to different people, and laws can be interpreted and debated. A ranger relies on judgment and intuition to do what's best for the people. Frankie's grab and go. Hey, Billy. You got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. 
Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Hmm. I'm looking for a thief skilled enough to steal a ship from the factory. Right out of the factory? <laughs> Damn, that's pretty impressive. Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everything in Neon has a price. People could be in danger. Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Where are you going with this? Please, just hear me out, okay? I need to know I can count on you. Well, that's part of the job. Then you need to hear this. Okay. It's about my brother. He what? died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. An all-too-familiar story in this city. Yeah, but I never thought I'd be part of one of those stories. Did my best to stay out of trouble, but... <sighs> found me anyway. What syndicate are you talking about? The only one that matters around here. The Sayoka Syndicate. They pretty much run the city. And that being said, rumor has it that Emmett Goodman is on the outs, so they might not miss him much if he were to disappear. All right, well, I'll talk to the loan shark, but you better make it worth my time. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tang with me. Okay. Traja. Maybe this means we can finally get into some, uh... ...fighting. of these workers that after a while you get used to the smell. Mm -hmm. mm. Walking. This is private property. Hmm. I'm a Freestar Ranger. Open that door. Nah, I don't think so. Neon's got a Ranger, and you ain't him. I need to get in there. It's important. Do you now? There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? You don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, I'm not trying to make trouble. I just want to talk this through. There's nothing to talk about. I've already made myself clear. Now you're starting to make me angry. Come on, don't be that way. This is important. Lives depend on it. Yeah, sure they do. Nobody Maybe ever cares here. about other people's I lives. I said you ain't getting in here, and I meant it. Now get lost! Alright, 
What, what is going to happen if I kill him? Hey, be careful not to point that thing at me. their minds. Come on, let's go. Hello. I'm with the Freestar Collective. No way. you kill him. The focus. Oh. Almost got you. I want you to kill him so that you don't get upset with me. Unfortunately, it came to violence. It didn't work out well for him. I didn't mean to put you in harm's way. I was hoping he'd come around when he saw you were a Free Star Ranger deputy. Took me about a week on the job to learn that doesn't usually work around here. Okay, time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Okay, let's go. Anastas has run into some trouble. Words of the wise, you don't want to. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? You want the stuff or not? I'm still interested, but you're asking almost double to going right. All right, over here. What? You think the stuff falls from the sky? Aurora, it's a mood. Feel Are you Grace? Oh, great. Just who I don't want to see. A free star ranger and his... What are you? A sidekick or something? I'm free star ranger Deputy Hill to you. Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. <laughs> okay. 
I take it you've had run-ins with the law before. A time or two. Maybe more. And yet here I am, walking free. I just need some information. It could help save lives. Aw, oh, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? Don't play games. I know you stole the ship, and you're gonna tell me why. Fine, yes. I jacked the ship. But look, I was just a contractor. I didn't even keep the ship. I gave it to some men. It was just a quick, clean job. I made sure nobody got hurt. Well, they were mercenaries who threatened a woman to get her farm. Hey, all I did was provide them with transportation. They didn't say anything about where they were going or why. Look, I wouldn't have gotten involved if I thought anyone would be hurt. I've got no love for violence. Not asking questions is just as bad as giving consent. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. Well, that's enough small talk. Tell me what you know. It, it's not that simple. I know you'd like to help me if you could. I hear you. Now we're getting somewhere. I haven't agreed to anything yet. There must be some way we can both win here. I'd like to think so. Well, no deals until I get some answers. All right, fine. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the First and that she had a job for me. The First? She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Hmm. Did Maya say why the first needed the Hope Tech ship? Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. It tends to make people uncomfortable. Did she say where she was being treated? No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. All right, go on. Not long after that. I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here. Take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Did anyone in the first give you a way to contact them? No. Nothing at all. <laughs> Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Did Marco ever give you his location? Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you. He's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. And what do you know about the men that you delivered the ship to? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. All right. I think we're done here. Works for me. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, deputy. Then I'm free to go. Yeah, you're free. Thanks for your help. Oh. Uh... Welcome?
Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Yes? Pardon. All right, are we good? Yes. I think we are. Is that it then? That's it. All right. Let's head back to Aquila City. <laughs> <laughs>